The news on XFM. I'm Chris or Tim. The ruling NRM party wants the Electoral Commission to award the contract of a ballot printing to local companies to support them after being affected by the COVID-19 lockdown. The EC had earlier awarded the contract to seven foreign companies, which include Tile Security Printers Best in England, Uniprint of South Africa, United Printing and Publishing of Abu Dhabi, Adairsec Limited England, and El Gora Printing and Publishing Company, also of the United Arab Emirates in the city of Dubai. However, some local companies, including Vision Group, which had submitted their bids, petitioned the public procurement and, this, and the disposal of a public assets authority, which nullified the contract. The Secretary General of the NRM, Justice Kasule Lumumba, says the Commission must support government's initiative of Buy Uganda, Build Uganda to promote local companies. Government is taking a decision that let us about papers be printed here. Electoral Commission, in this process of elections, they were allocated about one trillion shillings. So part of solving the issues or effects of COVID is to make sure we don't take money outside. Let them print the ballot papers here, but it should be done transparently. Every candidate, presidential candidate, should have an agent who are there to witness the, the printing of ballot papers, the parking, to make sure there are people watching the whole process for transparency. However, the chairman of the Electoral Commission, Simon Mugeni, says negotiations with the authority are still going on. Our technical team realized that there were shortcomings in the technical competencies of some or if not all our local printers, particularly in the area of ballot paper printing. Given the high numbers, the high variable variables, and the time element and the commission cannot afford to have any delayed delivery or printing of ballot papers. Taking into account all these factors, the commission felt that our local companies may not handle the work within the required time. However, PPDA ruled otherwise. He said there were issues, but we are having further discussions to make sure that this is resolved and resolved immediately. Now, a section of members of parliament have given divergent views on whether the Electoral Commission should award the ballot printing contract to foreign or local firms. The public procurement and the disposal of public assets, also referred to as PPDA, this week directed the Electoral Commission to reopen the bidding process for printing of ballots after the EC had awarded the contract to the foreign companies. The Kabula County MP, James Kakosa, says that there is no foreign company that can be awarded the contract without having a Ugandan citizen as a shareholder to support the issue of local content. There is no company in Uganda which is established, even if it's a, an investment. We pass the law that we, when you start a company in Uganda, you must have a shareholding of members, citizens of Uganda. So even that company which wins, there must be, there is a shareholder of Uganda. Bovuma Island's MP Robert Migade says that the local companies should be given an opportunity to print these ballots as a way to promote local content. And also at the same time when Uganda is government is promoting Bubu by Uganda, build Uganda. And we are donating 77 billions to, to, to Germany. During this COVID situation where a number of businesses are collapsing, these 77 billions would be one way of how actually businesses can survive. Not only those in printer, but if you pay someone in printer, you will end up also paying maybe another person. So in the end, some businesses may actually, you know, come up. Murago Hospital's Deputy Executive Director, Rosemary Bianima, wants government to equip the hospital with more specialists in handling critically ill COVID-19 patients in the intensive care units. Bianima says given the rapidly changing nature of COVID-19, clinicians and policymakers require an urgent review and training to acquire new skills in handling the changing virus behaviors. She adds that the patients stay in intensive care for quite a long time with this disease, hence overwhelming the health facility. What is of concern is that we are getting patients with severe to critical disease, which was not the case at the beginning. 
end of the epidemic. And uh, sometimes these patients have moved from one clinic, I have a call, then they go back home, then they come back, they, they, they keep moving here and there, and then they present when they have severe to critical disease requiring either HDU or ICU. And well, news traffic around Paris hit record levels just hours before a new national lockdown came into force across France. A jam stretched to a cumulative 430 miles, about 700 kilometers in the Ile de France region early on Thursday evening, local media reported. Lockdown measures came into force at about midnight on Friday uh, to tackle spiraling COVID infections. People have uh, been ordered to stay at home except for essential work or medical reasons. President Emmanuel Macron said the country risks being overwhelmed by a second wave that no doubt will be harder than the first. Daily COVID-19 deaths in France are at the highest level since April. On Thursday, the authorities reported 47,637 new cases and 250 new deaths. French media report that many Parisians have left the city to spend the lockdown in the countryside of France. And that's the latest XFM News. XFM News. On, 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 on.